like smoother. So. Um, Or will he? No, I'll use a polygon. Sorry. Right. Uh, right. Uh, so when you when you model your stuff, you know, if you model a character, uh, you want to have like a nice, easy spread of vertex along it. So it's called topology. Um, but like what me and Brian have been trying to do, and always trying to get you to do that, and everyone does it by default. Like basically, you don't have like 15 edge loops here, and then two edge loops there, and then 160 here, because that's on balance. You would normally have it out in equal spaces. Um, the reason we've been getting you to do that is when you go to animate stuff, if you have it in equal places, it works a lot better. Uh, so I'm gonna have to like put someone here because it's a bit crap at the moment. That, that's just the normal. I'm going to be working on wireframe a bit today as well, uh, just so I can show you what way it works. Right, so you got you got an animation shelf, um, exactly the same way you got a polygon one. Uh, all the tools you need to make stuff are on here. Um, the main two ones we're going to be using today is we're going to make a joint tool, and then we're going to use a thing that's called an IK handle. Okay, so I, IK stands for inverse kinetics. You don't really need to know what it means. Uh, it's it's basically when something happens, uh, the kinetic reaction to it. Um, so the idea being, if I lift my leg, my hip stays where it is, doesn't it? Like if I just if I'm standing up and I lift my leg, like it's not like my hips shooting up in there. By default, when you animate in Maya, that'll happen. When you move the leg, uh, your hip will just start raising as well, and you can't animate. The model you had last week had. IK handles in it for the feet. Um, so we're just going to stick one there and at the end up. Uh, right, so to be honest, you're better off, um, you're better off rigging in wireframe view. I know it's not like the nicest place to be, but you are better off rigging in there. Um, all right, so we're going to, all right, so joint tool, whenever you click, it'll drop down kind of like a joint, you know, like a, like a ball joint. So think of it kind of like a, a socket. Um, whenever you click the next one, it'll join it on to the previous joint. All right, um, so I'm gonna do one there, um, one to the middle, and then one to the end. All right, and then that's it done. So that's its own little joint. All right, so it works kind of like an arm joint. You can do like really advanced ones. So if you were doing like a spider or something, you might have four or five of these little sections. The more of these you have, the more movement you have. Uh, human arm, I mean it works off your bones. I, I can't bend that. If I bend that, I'll just break my arm. So it's not gonna work. So think about the bones you have in your body. Your legs are only only ever, only ever gonna have two. Uh, you got two in your arms. It's when you get to your hands and stuff that you kinda got more. Depending on how much flexibility you want your character to have, you can get away with maybe having two in your spine. Or you could have like four or five. If your character is like a really long character, like kind of like an alien or something, you might have loads in the spine. But that's uh, exactly how you do it. So these uh, these joints are just the same as what was in uh, what was in that model, and I'd hidden them out of the way. Uh, so that this is actually kind of ready to go. My menu's a bit cut off, guys. So I'm gonna try and uh, what you want to do same as if you know you're gonna combine two objects. So that go a bit yellow there. Um, you want to select your joints, uh, select your mesh that it's going to be attached to. So this is why you model your characters one big mesh if you can. You don't want to have to attach it to like ten or twelve. Uh, and we want to do a thing that's called bind skin. All right. We're gonna do uh, a smooth bind. So smooth bind means when we move it. It's going to force all the geometry to, to smoothly move with it. So you think if your joint's way over here and you're moving it, it's going to move the points down here a tiny bit. It's going to move the points up here loads. So it kind of it figures out how far away it is. Um, 
Uh, we're going to do that. Skinning, buying skin. That's why I kind of call it skinning, but people call texturing skinning as well. So it gets a bit confusing, like when you talk to different people. Some people go, "Oh yeah, I skinned that character," and you're like, "Oh sweet, so can he run around?" You're like, "No, no, I, I textured him, so I skinned him." So that's why, if you want to call it skinning or binding, um, some people call it binding. It's basically rigging of any kind. All right, whenever you rig a mesh, you'll notice it's um, it's going to be it's going to go purple like straight away. All right, so that's it rigged. The problem is uh, Maya's having a bit of difficulty with it because it's got weights on it. All right. Um, so you see what's happening? The joint's not actually moving, is it? It's just kind of staying still. So that's why we're going to use an IK handle. Um, grab your IK handle tool. And you click on your start joint and your end joint. So that's how your IK handle works. All right. So real simple. Like basically, the IK handle does all the maths for you. You don't need to worry about anything else. You pick the start of the joint, end of the joint, IK handle in between, and it does what I got. So you can, the cool thing is, later on, I'm gonna show you how to paint the weight. Um, so this has like little weights attached to it. So you notice when I move this side, it's not causing a lot of effect down here. You can paint how much influence it has on it. So you can actually set it that when, when you lift this, these vertex here raise up and these vertex here go in because that's the way your body works. So if you tighten the muscle, this one will raise, that one will like contract or it'll disappear. Uh, but we'll paint them. Um, basically, real quickly guys, give that a try. Like I know I, I kind of flew through it. These are the two main tools you're looking at, right? Um, so you got your joint tool there. Right next to it, it's the IK handle tool. Um, I'll have a quick play through it and we'll uh, we'll look at painting the weights then. No, um, 